bit um, about an issue that, of course, all of you think about every day, which is quality. Um, actually, Winda, I see you in the audience. I know you've done a lot of work on this recently. Everybody, Winda Harris-Millard, industry legend, needs no introduction. Thank you so much for being here today. How are you? It's my pleasure. Yeah. My pleasure. So if you don't know, uh, Winda's the president of MediaLink, um, mm -hmm. founding team at DoubleClick, Yahoo, Martha Stewart, you know, pretty much in charge of the whole space. <laughs> I don't and think so. uh, <laughs> one thing you've been working on recently is a study on, I believe, fraud and corruption in the industry. Could you tell us a bit about that? Sure. We, we've actually been working on the, the issue of fraud and all its many components for uh, about three years. So we've been looking at uh, everything from uh, piracy, uh, content theft, uh, to the issues with pornography uh, and other sort of bad content sites, uh, certainly looking at you know, the whole bot situation <clears throat> for a long time. Uh, stackable ads, things that basically devalue digital media. Um, so we've been working with many, many companies, individual as well as the uh, Digital Citizens Alliance. Uh, and what's very exciting now is that we're working with the IAB. Um, we have commissioned a, a kind of a massive study, uh, and we've asked uh, Ernst & Young won the, won the bid. Um, and what we're going to do now is try to quantify corruption in the supply chain. There are lots of different numbers floating around. Uh, what is this costing the industry? And so we want to try to get our arms around this from a real number standpoint so that you know, we don't have to sort of be, be up there guessing, but to quantify it and help everybody in the industry understand what the issues are, what they mean from a cost standpoint, and what we're going to do about it. So we're very, very excited. Uh, and I know that, that you are hugely supportive of this, um, and we thank you for that. Absolutely. One thing I think that makes people nervous is when you throw out words like corruption and theft. I think, you know, bots feels a little mm -hmm. bit more like a Roomba. Right. You know, harmless, you know. A little more charming. <laughs> yeah, it used to be charged. Yeah. But, you know, you talked about theft and, and mm -hmm. fraud and these big, scary words. I mean, so talk about why you use those terms and think sure, about it Sure, because way. they're absolutely true. Um, if you look at uh, piracy, what that is, is theft, out and out, it is stealing. And these are bad guys. Um, and so I don't think we should be mincing words. We, as an industry, are responsible to correct this issue. And we can't, as responsible players, uh, you know, we built this industry. And we have to fess up to some of the challenges that we face. And they are real, and it is very, very expensive. Um, so those words, they might sound harsh. Um, corruption is bad, and theft is really bad, so we're calling a spade a spade. Uh, and the great thing is that we have tremendous support from the ANA. Mm. Uh, those are the guys with the money, as we all know, the Association of National Advertisers, uh, and of course the, the might and the power uh, of IAB. But we own this as an industry, and we need to solve it. Yeah, one thing I think is also important about this is when you start talking about those words like theft, it changes this from being a business problem, which we know. I think mm -hmm. everyone here would acknowledge yeah. this is a, a business problem. Like if, if these guys stop spending on digital, then it hurts our pocketbooks, for those of you who carry one. Um, but it also feels like it's a moral issue. This is something that we as people should be thinking about. I think that's right because, I mean, I hope a lot of you are following some of, some of the issues here. Um, it, it is immoral. I mean, it's that again, that's also a, a strong word, but it's very true. And I think that, you know, in, in an age where uh, transparency and authenticity, uh, you know, maybe overused words, but it's true. And, and we own, all of us uh, as industry players, uh, as business people, it, it is a moral issue. I mean, this stuff is bad. And those who sweep it under the rug, uh, who are aware of it, but they're still, you know, pumping money uh, into their own systems, um, that will come around and bite them in, in the tail. So I think what I'm very, very excited about is that we have come together uh, as an industry to address our own problems. The alternate uh, is not good. You know, we do not want the government telling us what to do. This is a complicated industry. Uh, it is very difficult for people who are not in it to understand it. Um, so that's exactly what we don't want to happen, is people who really don't understand the complexities here. 
uh, and what's at stake, quite frankly. So government intervention uh, would not be a good idea. So I'm, I'm so thrilled um, that the important players in, in the business, um, and certainly you're taking a leading role uh, in this study, uh, that important uh, people in the business are supporting this. So I think uh, it's a way better alternative than, than having yes. uh, the government um, tell us what to do. Absolutely. Well, thank yeah. you for taking Absolutely. such a strong My stand. Pleasure. Thanks for okay. coming. Thanks. Great seeing Great. you. You too. Awesome. Thank you.